Hello, I'm Rusty. And I'm Joe. And this is the Solar Surfer, our entry to the Hackaday Prize. The Solar Surfer is a robotic, solar-powered surfboard that we designed to go from Los Angeles all the way to Hawaii, 2,500 miles away. The Solar Surfer is built out of off-the-shelf and custom components, including one of the coolest components, the T100 Thruster, which we designed ourselves for this application. Hey, I'm Josh. So one of our goals with the Solar Surfer was to use as much existing open source technology as we could and to uh, provide everything that we generated for the Solar Surfer uh, as an open source project as well. Um, so you can find a lot of the uh, existing design and code for all of the different Solar Surfer pieces uh, on our GitHub account. Um, in addition to that, we wanted to make the Solar Surfer a very connected device. Uh, so uh, when, when it is out in the ocean, it has a SATCOM link that we can get telemetry from and send commands to so that we know where it is at all times and uh, we can control it if we need to override and change its behavior. So I'm going to give you a rundown of the components of the Solar Surfer. Uh, here we have an 8 foot foam surfboard. Uh, right in the center on top we have the solar panel mounted. Up at the front we've got our power box. This contains our battery and charge controller. Uh, at the back we have our brains. Uh, this is our APM, our speed controllers, and our SATCOM link. Uh, here we have a completely redundant uh, satellite tracking. Uh, down at the bottom, we have the keel. Uh, at the bottom of the keel, we've mounted our thrusters, and we have a large weight here to uh, right the surfboard if it becomes inverted during the trip. So this is Solar Surfer version one. We've already started working on Solar Surfer two. That will be built on this board. This is a 12-foot board uh, with a lot more solar panels and a lot less drag. Future versions will consist of a custom design hole uh, with tightly integrated electronics. We've done quite a bit of testing with the Solar Surfer already. Back in June, we did some very simple testing with an RC radio to verify power, speed, and steering capability. About a month later, we moved on to autonomous GPS guided navigation. We completed a 500 meter loop a few times in a nearby marina. After that, we prepared for longer tests by doing some static testing to verify that the satellite communications were working well and that the, uh, the power control system for optimal use of solar power was working well. Uh, our biggest and most successful test so far has been our third ocean test, which we did off the coast of Santa Monica. Uh, we, we took the boat a few miles offshore uh, in a power boat, and then we launched it from that point and sent it straight out into the ocean. Uh, the boat spent the night out there and woke back up in the morning and continued on its path. The next day we collected it and uh, through the process we got a lot of awesome data and we had a great time testing it. Cool, so one of the key aspects of this last ocean test uh, was to test the integrated connection from the surfboard all the way to our online API. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit of that right now. Uh, so first here we have this map. Uh, this map is pretty simple. It primarily just shows uh, the current location of the solar surfer and the uh, location history of the solar surfer since the beginning of the mission. Um, this map also overlays our current position, so we were able to, to use this to track down the solar surfer when we needed to find it the next day. Um, on the next page here, we have a couple of graphs that help us look into a little bit more of the information of the solar surfer. And all this data came off over real, uh, in real time, so we were able to watch this in the morning uh, before we went out to get to retrieve the solar surfer. Uh, and on the final page, we just have a raw output of our current solar surfer telemetry message. Um, it's pretty cool that uh, if you look at all this information here, it's all coming over over 50 bytes. Uh, so we had to do a lot of work in our message format to kind of compress this. The test was really successful. The solar server spent over 20 hours in the ocean and covered about 20 kilometers total. That's pretty good considering that we missed the four brightest hours of sunlight during the day. We expect it to go much further each day during our uh, real missions. In preparation for our launch to Hawaii, we've got a very exciting upcoming test for the solar server. We're going to launch it from the coast of California, send it about 100 miles offshore and have it travel up the California coast. It will return inland and we'll collect it in Northern California. During the test, the Solar Surfer's position and all the data coming from it will be live streamed on our website. So please, stay in touch with our website and our Hackaday page. Thanks so much for watching.